In an earlier video, we looked at how to set up a new profile as well as how to use the basic Facebook features. In this video, we will cover a few of the newer, more advanced features of the platform as well as discuss some of the growing concerns people have regarding privacy and security in Facebook. Let's start by looking into the details of your privacy on Facebook. To see how your default settings are configured as well as adjust them, click on Account Privacy Settings. Here you can see and control how your information is revealed to other people on the internet as well as how your information and details are revealed whenever you share something on Facebook. To get started, click on View Setting just below Connecting on Facebook. Let's look at how your basic information is revealed to everyone on Facebook and the internet in general. These settings define what information is visible to people. Read over the settings in detail and use the drop down arrow to define whether this information is visible to everyone, which is to say anyone on the internet, friends of your friends, or just your friends. As a rule, it is worth leaving the top three settings visible to everyone. Otherwise, it is unlikely you will be able to find or connect with your friends, but you may, for example, wish to limit who can see your education or work details or your current city or hometown. If you'd like to limit how this information is revealed, why not set it to friends, in which case only your accepted friends will be able to see this. Let's go back to the privacy settings and adjust how our general information and activity is shared on Facebook. By default, Facebook will set your sharing privacy settings to recommended. These settings, however, mean that anyone will be able to see your status, bio and photos, as well as other basic information. If you'd rather not share this with the world, click on Customize Settings to change your sharing settings. Again, use the drop-down arrow and select Everyone, Friends of Friends or Just Friends. Go through each item and select a setting you're comfortable with. Online safety has become an increasingly important topic. We've seen many vulnerable people fall victim to online attacks, such as cyberbullying. This is a topic too vast and complex for this video, but it might be useful to explore Facebook's policy on security. Facebook has created a safety centre with a number of tools and resources available to users. If concerned or interested, visit facebook.com forward slash safety. The Facebook like feature is becoming an increasingly popular way to give feedback or share content and experiences. There are a number of places you might click like. Within Facebook, you might like a piece of content that a friend posts on Facebook, or you might like a page created by a brand or organisation. The first time you do this, new security features means you may need to verify your account. If you'd rather not enter your phone number, you may continue to fill in the security text boxes when prompted to do so. Off Facebook, many websites are integrating the like button as a way to make connecting experiences on Facebook more seamless. In all cases, when you click like, you are creating a connection. This action will be displayed in your profile and on your wall and your friends may receive a newsfeed story about the connection. As you begin to expand your social network, you may encounter brands, organisations, celebrities and musicians on Facebook. When you find, for example, a band you like on Facebook, the key action you'll be invited to do is click on like. Because you liked a page, your social interaction with the band will be similar to that with your friends. Whenever the band, or most likely its marketing division, publishes contents to its wall, this will appear on your newsfeed. In essence, profiles represent individuals and must be held under an individual name, while pages allow an organisation, business, celebrity or band to maintain a professional presence on Facebook. Now that we've explored in greater detail some of the elements that combine to create an online social experience, let's look at how to upload content such as photos and videos. Go back to your profile. In the left hand column, under your picture, click on photos. Here you will see all the photos and videos of you on Facebook, showing both what you've uploaded as well as what others have uploaded featuring you. To upload photos, click on the large Upload More Photos box, or at any stage in your profile, click in the top right hand corner of the page on either Upload Photos or Upload Videos. Facebook offers you a tip, suggesting that you can select multiple files by holding down the Command or Control key while you click. 
click Select Photos, then navigate to where your photos are stored on your computer to make your selection. When done, click Open to upload. If these are the first photos you're uploading, Facebook will automatically store them in an album. Name the album, adding if you like where the photos were taken, then click Create Album. Your photos won't be published yet. You first have the option to tag people in your photos. Facebook will automatically recognise faces in photos and will ask you to add the names of your friends. Remember this information will then become public, so it's best to only tag your friends if you have their permission. If you wish, you may skip these steps, but if you've made changes, click Save Tags. Your photos are now uploaded and a link to your album will appear on your newsfeed. Once again, Facebook has a number of features we've only just touched on, so keep exploring, connecting and sharing.